This video will help step you through the thought process of solving lab question number four that is part of the fundamentals of calorimetry lab. The question talks about instant hot packs that are designed to reach a temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. And it says of the two salts that you used for the lab, which were calcium chloride and ammonium chloride, which would make a better hot pack? You all did a great job of identifying calcium chloride as the salt that would be used since that is the salt that produced an exothermic reaction. The problem goes on to ask you how much of that calcium chloride would you need to get to 60 degrees Celsius if 100 grams of water were also used in the hot pack. And then it says in your calculation, use the average initial temperature, so we'll call that temperature initial, of the water that was collected during the lab. And so in your data table that's on page eight, you will have an average uh, temperature, an average initial temperature. So let's assume for purposes of this calculation that your average initial temperature was 23.6 degrees Celsius. Your final temperature is that optimal 60 degrees Celsius that you want to get to. And so for our calculations, our delta T will be 36.4 degrees Celsius. So that's what we'll use for our delta T. The other pieces of information that you'll need is the average molar enthalpy of the calcium chloride. And you should have calculated that in your calculation data table on page nine. That is gonna be the average between the five grams, the 10 grams, and the 15 grams. And you should get a value around negative 74.7 kilojoules per mole. So these pieces of information are going to be enough to help us figure out how much calcium chloride you will need to get to 60 degrees Celsius in a hot pack that also contains 100 grams of water. So uh, the heat of your solution or the Q of solution is going to be equal to the heat of the water uh, plus the heat of the calorimeter. And so we can calculate the heat of the solution. Uh, well, it's actually the negative. And so this will be uh, M times the heat capacity times the delta T. And the heat of the calorimeter is going to be the heat capacity, we'll call that big C, the heat capacity of our calorimeter times delta T. So we can, and that'll be a negative. We can plug values in for this. We have a mass of water, which is 100 grams. We know the heat capacity of water as 4.184 joules per gram degrees Celsius. And we have a delta T of 36.4 degrees Celsius. For the calorimeter, you calculated the heat capacity of your calorimeter as part of your calculations for the lab, and you should have gotten something close to 29.2 joules per degree Celsius. We're going to multiply that by that same 36.4 degrees Celsius temperature change. And so the heat of our calcium chloride solution will be, after you plug all the numbers into that, you should get something close to 16.3 kilojoules. 
we can then use that to figure out the moles of calcium chloride that we need. So we will take our negative 16.3 kilojoules and we will divide it by this molar enthalpy of calcium chloride that you calculated as part of your lab calculations. And you should find that you need some somewhere around 0 0.218 moles of calcium chloride. We can then use good old stoichiometry to figure out how many grams that would be. So we have our 0.218 moles of calcium chloride and then one mole of calcium chloride is 110.99 grams and so you will need 24.2 grams of calcium chloride to reach a temp of 60 degrees Celsius.